Hello, and welcome back to the Building with AppSheet series. I'm Christian Schalk, an AppSheet product manager, and in this next episode, we'll show how to use multiple tables together in AppSheet. We'll also cover some other useful new concepts along the way. Let's get started. So for this demo, I'll be extending the tasks application from the prior episode. I'll show how to connect the tasks table to a new owner's table and using an AppSheet reference. Additionally, to provide better visibility to the owner's data in my app, I'll add and customize a new owner's UI view. Before jumping into the demo, here's some additional information on AppSheet references and relational data. AppSheet references allow your apps to support relational data. In database terms, relational data simply means that records in one table refer to one or many records in another table. This is important because business apps pretty much always have relational data. AppSheet references are implemented with a special ref data type, which can be applied to a column in a table that refers to another related table. For the ref column to work though, it needs to have the same name as the other table it's referring to. You'll see in a moment that AppSheet can automatically recognize relationships in data and apply references as needed. Incidentally, this works the same with either Sheets or SQL databases. Let's now return to our tasks demo app and extend it with a new owner's table. So here we are with the same sheet that we used before. As you can see, we have the different tasks and such, but if you'll notice there is a new owner column. And so these are essentially the owners of the different tasks. And also we have a separate tab here, which has the different owners and additional information such as their phone, location, photo, etc. So what we will do now is generate essentially the same application as we've done before, and then we'll inspect it a little bit more and customize it. So I'll go up to extensions, I'll click on app sheet, create an app. Okay, so here we are with our new app that we just generated. As you can see on the right side in the emulator, we have all the different records. Essentially at this point, it's a functioning app. So we can insert, update, delete tasks data. I will click on the data tab and you can see we have this one table and this one table contains an owner column which matches our original sheet here for this owner column but in this case the the data type is email so as I add a new owner's table you'll see that this will change all right so the first task that we're going to do is let's go ahead and add the tasks or the owners so I click on the the plus button to add new data and I could select from different data sources, but in this case, I'm just going to add the table owners. And this is presented because AppSheet sees that there is a relationship between the two tables. So I click on that and then I just accept the defaults and I click add to app. And so there we go. We now have the new owners table showing up and we also have the tasks table. One thing I want to draw your attention to really quickly is that the owner column now, instead of, of type email, it has a ref type and this allows it to refer to the other table. So if I drill down further, you can see that the type is ref and then the source table is the owner's table. So this column is essentially pointing to the other owner's table. And then let's take a look at the owner's table. So there is a warning right now that says we have some potential sensitive data. Uh, we can actually turn that off just by scrolling over here and unchecking this PII checkbox. And then I'll just click save and then the warning will go away. But more importantly, I wanted to draw your attention to this uh, virtual column here that's been generated and it's of type list and there's an expression there. So if we open up the editor for that column, you can see that we have uh, a virtual column and the app formula is ref rows. That is, allows us to connect the two tables together and it's of type list, the element type is ref, and then the reference table name is tasks. So we've essentially joined these two tables together and that will have a behavior in the app that we can drill down and select the different rec. So I won't do any further work with the application because now I want to improve the UI a bit, right? So I click on the, the views uh, tab there and you can see that we have our one view under the primary navigation, which is the bottom tab there but I want to show an owner centric view. So I'll click on the plus button here, add a new view, and I could create one from scratch, but in this case, there is a suggestion that says add deck view with photo column for owner's data. So I'll go ahead and select that suggestion and it will generate a new owner's view. Um, I don't actually need to name it owner's deck, so I'll delete that part of it. And then as you can see here, below here, it says owners, right? So now we can just set the, the view options rather trivially. 
So I can say, instead of a deck, maybe I wanna try out what a table looks like or a gallery or a card. So there's a lot of different options that we have here, but I'll, I'll return it back to the deck view, view type that is. And then here's the position. That's essentially the position here at the bottom of the app. And so in this case, maybe I wanna switch it over to last, but in this case, it doesn't really matter too much. I'll, I'll leave it at first. Likewise, I can update some of the other settings here for this particular view. Maybe I want round images, or I'll just, in this case, I'll just keep it as square image. I can specify what I want as the primary or secondary and a summary. So these are all very easy to experiment with. So my final update is to actually change the display icon. So instead of this, this uh, same icon that I have for the tasks, let's get something that looks a little bit more like, uh, I guess, people. People actually, I just did a search for people and I have this icon available to use. So I click on that and now we have our app that's essentially good to go. So now you can see we have our data um, in the app. If I wanted to, I could drill down uh, and you can see that there are related tasks for each owner. And this is essentially using the relationship that we've set up. So for example, I can go through and even edit some of this relational data. So in this case, I have a user here and maybe I want to drill down on this budget proposal or complete budget proposal. So let's go ahead and change this record. So let's maybe change the uh, the due date, something later, and I'll, I'll assign a new owner. So I'll just assign it to Susan there and I'll click save. And so you get that little icon there showing up that it's saving. So let's go ahead and check the update that we did. Back to the spreadsheet and then we have this row here that says complete budget proposal has our new date, our new due date, which is later in the month. And then we have the new owner, which is S. Spence, essentially Sue Spence. All right, so hopefully this gives you an idea of how to quickly build a relational database application using relations within the data. And AppSheet was able to do essentially all the work for us. This concludes this video on using multiple tables in AppSheet. For more information, here are some useful links to help you get started.